Hi everyone, hopefully you're doing okay. So I'm going to very quickly explain today's lesson to you. Um, once a week we're gonna come towards you. It's every Friday with an assignment for now until things get back to normal. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to look at the attached worksheet and it's going to be in the treble clef. And that is where musicians and music people read music on a staff. Now the staff is the five lines in the four spaces. You remember me taking my hand and here's your staff. And each finger represents a line. And we put what's called the treble clef on the, the staff. And musicians use that to organize the music for them so they can read the notes moving up and down the melody of it and the harmonies of it. So what you're going to do is look at a note, let's say on the lines. And if you do that in treble clef, the bottom line is gonna be E. And the next line, second line is G, third line is B, D, F. And I've done the saying, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I go E, G, B, D, F, E, G, B, D, F. These are the lines in the treble clef, okay? Now in between, we have the spaces. There's five lines and four spaces. Now we go from the bottom up and space rhymes with the word face. So I'm gonna ask you, to think of the word face, F-A-C-E. So that we're gonna start with the bottom, F-A-C-E, F-A-C-E. These are the spaces, yes sir, re. All right, so lines and spaces in the treble clef is your assignment this week. So notice that the music alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I think of it like a circle and it repeats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and continues and continues and doesn't end. It's just those same notes over and over, whether it be low, medium or high in pitch. So I'm gonna ask you to identify those notes and we're gonna use whole notes. You can kind of see them as I drew them and then you can put different notes on them as well. So make sure you're understanding that. Again, that's for instruments that have like higher pitches. In singing, there would be like a soprano or an alto voice. In instruments, it might be like a violinist. It might be a flute player, piccolo player, trumpet player clarinet player, oboe player, anybody with a higher pitch or higher sounding instrument will utilize the treble clef or in other words for G clef is the other name of it also. All right, so hopefully you understand this. Look at the worksheet and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.